In today's video, knowing how to switch stances or roles as an instructional coach. Hello coaches, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Friday from Eduro Learning. My name is Kim and I am the premium mentor for the Coach Micro Credential from Eduro Learning. I've also been an instructional coach in international schools for about 20 years and I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you today because I think this is a big challenge that lots of coaches face. We know that in our roles we need to switch between different approaches when we're working with teachers sometimes right there in the very moment when we're having that conversation. And it can be really challenging to figure out how to make that transition. So that's what today's video is all about. And I do want to share that this is a big part of the conversations that we have in the coach micro credential and our registration just closed, but it just closed only last week. So if you missed it, send us a message on social and we will work with you to see if we can get you in for this year's cohort four. All right, so let's move on to knowing how to switch stances as an instructional coach. In my last video, I talked about the different stances that coaches may take, the consultant, the collaborator, or the coach, and I will link that video up here. As we know, coaching is a fine balance. We need to support teachers in the stance that they need in that moment. But knowing how to tell which stance they need and then how to switch if we started in one stance and we need to transition to another, what is the phrasing that we might use in that moment? So here are four important elements to knowing how to switch stances as an instructional coach. The first thing you can do is just ask, directly say, how can I best support you today? And be transparent about the ways that you can help. It's often worth just asking, what does the teacher need right now? Are they in the middle of a stressful moment and they just need answers to their question? Or are they wanting to probe deeper into their professional learning and kind of have a thoughtful conversation about their professional growth at this moment right now? You can say, what do you need today? What's on your mind? What are some burning issues? And you can kind of tease out how they feel and what they're looking for in this conversation by listening to their responses. Which leads me right into number two, listening for cues as the teacher is talking. You might hear emotion in their voice. They might be excited about something and you can tell that they're ready to dig deeper into it and they have lots of ideas. Or you might hear stress and frustration and you can see that they might be at the end of their rope and they really just need a consultant to help them answer those questions. You can also listen for the types of stories they're telling and the types of stories that resonate with them. This was a great moment in our conversation with Steve Barkley from the Coach Better podcast, which I will link up here, um, where he talked about how identifying the kinds of stories that teachers resonate with or that, re that they respond to is one of the ways that he can tell how to make the next move in his coaching conversation. So I'll let Steve talk about that in the video in the cards that I just shared. Another thing to listen for in the clues are is listening for how they ask the question. What kind of language are they using in the question they're asking? Uh, do they seem like they are really at the end of their rope and they're just super frustrated and they can't handle it anymore? Or are they kind of pondering, oh, I might do this or I might do that. And you can tell they've got ideas to pull from already. So those clues are really important to help you see exactly where the teacher is at in this moment in time. The third piece to consider is to be aware of time or stress that this teacher might be facing. To think about when are you having this conversation? Is it reports or end of the year or parent teacher conferences? Or did you happen to see them in the hallway and you're having a quick conversation? Or are you sitting down at lunch and actually taking some time to have a deeper conversation? You might want to think about what's next for this teacher. Where are they going after this meeting? What is their day or their week or this month like? Is it a really stressful time for them? Are they running to another class? That might be a good way to figure out if they just need a five minute support conversation or if they have a little bit more time to have a coaching conversation. And then of course, in the big picture, what is the timeline for the support they need? Is this a project they started six weeks ago and it's due for the students tomorrow and they just need to tweak a tiny little bit of thing? Or is it something that's going to happen a couple of weeks from now and they have time to work more deeply with you to build something more substantial in terms of your coaching relationship? And the fourth thing I'd like to share today is you can always offer the opportunity to choose the direction of the conversation to the teacher. 
mid conversation, if you sense that they came into this meeting wanting a coaching conversation, but you can sense they're really just looking for an answer right now, you might just say, I have an idea. Would you like me to share? Or if they want to be a collaborator, you might say, let's work through this together. Those kind of transition phrases can help both you and the teacher recognize that you're moving through different roles as a coach. And one of the interviews that we did for the Coach Better podcast with James DL talked about this ability to transition. So I'll link that one up above as well. All right. So those are four ways that you as a coach can know how to switch stances during an instructional coaching conversation. You can start by asking how you can best support them on that day in that moment. During the conversation, you can listen for cues and try to hear the emotion in their voice and see what they're looking for. You can be really aware of time and stress and what's coming next for this teacher so you know what it's like to be in their life for this day and what might work best at this moment in time. And during the actual conversation, you can offer an opportunity to change direction by being really clear in your transition statements when you're moving from one role to another. Hopefully those four give you some good ideas for knowing how to switch stances as an instructional coach. Thanks for joining us for 5-Minute Friday, and we look forward to seeing you here again next week. Did you enjoy today's episode? Then you will love the Coach Micro-Credential Program. We know because our current participants are always sharing their feedback with us. And we ask them to share their experiences with you. I'd really advise anyone interested in taking the coach to take the plunge and go for it. So do it. And you won't regret it. Yeah, you'll really enjoy it. It's a valuable experience. So I say go for it. Definitely take the coach. I couldn't recommend it more. So I'd highly recommend it. I would definitely suggest you try and join to really help you develop your professional coaching skills. Overall, this course is is fantastic because it's made me feel awesome. It's made me feel excited for my future. It's given me really great skills to help others, um, and hopefully I can help others to feel the same way. So I highly recommend it. If I were to give any piece of advice or message to future cohort members, it is to take the course. If you are on the fence, please take it. When you're ready to learn more about The Coach, click on the link below or reach out to us at Aduro Learning on any of our social media platforms. Registration for our next cohort opens soon. Don't miss it. Expand your professional learning network, dive deep into 26 weeks of curated coaching content, and get your own private mentor for an entire academic year. We can't wait to work with you. Are you ready to take your coaching skills to the next level? Join the next cohort of The Coach and make it happen.